Hello everyone, welcome back to another CAPS video. Today we have a very special guest, Maggie from UWCS. So Maggie, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Maggie and I'm from Waterloo, Ontario. I'm currently a third year undergraduate student in computer science at the University of Waterloo. Although I do live near campus, um, due to COVID, I've been taking remote courses for the past three terms. So yeah. <laughs> cool, so my first question for you is, what are some things you wished you knew before going into university, whether it was the research process or browsing the website on offered programs? Well, looking back, I, I wish I'd known to apply for internship opportunities even before university. It would have helped a ton back when I had to search for my very first co-op in the first year. Um, but other than that, there's like nothing much. If you, as long as you look at the program um, and then you do some research in depth, you'll be fine. Uh, what are services or programs that you access uh, to help support you as a student when you are studying at UW? Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't really access any external services or programs, but I did go to professor office hours whenever I had questions about course content or I needed some extra help for assignments. Um, Waterloo has this really nice thing in, I think, first and second year, where the TAs, the teaching assistants, also have these you know, huge office hours where, you know, classes of people would go and, and ask for help for the assignment. And we have pretty strict rules about who you can collaborate with um, because they're all individual assignments. So those are really nice because, you know, you can sit there and listen to what other people are thinking about and it's penalty free. <laughs> but aside from school, it's also really important to manage your mental health properly. Otherwise, you'll experience burnout really early on in the term. And sometimes spending that extra hour or two with friends or family each week can really boost your productivity by miles. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, so why did you choose University of Waterloo? Okay, to be honest, uh, I didn't have a dying passion to come, but out of all the schools I applied to, Waterloo was the best for computer science, which is how I chose to come here. Oh, okay, so what do you like best about your program? Well, I really like the variety of courses that are offered by the faculty. In the first two years, there's a lot of hands-on programming and elementary courses, and it feels really tedious because you're like, this isn't what I signed up for. But it does ensure that you have a really good foundation for the upper year courses, which are, you know, really what you came here for, um, like operating systems and security. Okay, so can you tell us more about your program, like internships, workload, environment, or class sizes? Yeah, sure. So I'm in the club program and I have about six four month internship opportunities spread throughout my undergrad. Some people have five and one of them is in eight months. You can take terms off if you want a break. Um, but yeah, so for me uh, and for everyone else, the term preceding each work term, you have to apply for jobs and the university will post a ton of job offers on their internal job site and that's how you can apply for jobs. You can also apply for jobs externally, but like if you have no connections, if you don't know how to do that, that's totally fine. Um, I think it's fairly easy to find a co-op job, not, not a flex, but um, the hardest is probably your very first co-op because you know, you might not have any prior work experience in the field and you're like, okay, well, who wants to hire someone like me? But after that, it gets better because then you have some work experience under your belt. That's As for the workload, yeah? <laughs> no, sorry, yeah. Okay. Um, as for the workload, it depends on the kind of student you are. The amount of time you spend in lectures depends on the program you're in, right? That makes sense. If you're in, you know, a business program, then obviously you need to spend more time in classes or studying material. If you're in engineering, you have a ton of classes. Um, but in CS, on average, you have about 17 hours of lectures a week. That doesn't seem like a lot, right? Because in high school, you have, let's see, how many hours is it a day? Eight hours a day? Eight hours a day and then five days. So it's 40 hours, right? So 17 is, you know, much less, right? Um, but it's because you need more time to study the course content on your own or in groups and to work on your assignments. So if you find the course content easy, then you can be spending about 10 hours a week outside of lecture time, which is like really little. But if you find it difficult, like most people, like normal people, um, you'll likely find yourself working about 20 to 30 hours a week. Like I wouldn't be surprised if you just spent a Saturday working the entire day. <laughs> That's very um, intense. 
<laughs> yeah, but it also depends on the kind of student you are, right? Like if you need more breaks throughout the day, maybe you like to work, you know, four to five hours every single day and then ensure that you have time off. Or if you like to take, you know, all of Saturday off, all of Sunday off, maybe you want to work harder on the weekdays, right? It depends on how you want to structure your lifestyle. For sure. So mm -hmm. what are some interesting or mind blowing things that you didn't know about uh, UW until you studied there? Okay. So this might not be the most interesting thing, but I found it really cool that a lot of the buildings on campus are connected. And what that means is that you can get from one side of the building to the other without going outside. <laughs> and it's really helpful when the weather is really bad and let's say it's raining and you forgot, the, you forgot your umbrella, right? Especially in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you like best about UW? Like best places to chill or hang out with friends, stuff like that. Mm, let's see. I think what I like best about the school are the professors. Um, I've had some professors and I genuinely consider them to be among the best teachers I've ever had. And aside from course content, listening to their stories and how they got to where they are now can be really eye-opening. Some CS props have been in the industry before I was even born, um, and they really do have a lot to tell. And I think knowing how others have succeeded can only ever be helpful to you. That's really um, cool. Yeah, and as for best places to chill, okay. Uh, I haven't physically been on campus for a really long time, so I'm having a hard time remembering the campus layout, but um, I think there's a small space between the science teaching complex and the Quantum Nano Center, and there's like a few picnic tables there. It's like super out of the way and there's not a lot of traffic, but it's outdoors, so it's like really nice to chill. That sounds really nice. Um... So what are three tips that you can share with high school students who want to pursue a post-secondary education? Tips, okay. Well, number one, don't make assumptions about the programs that you're interested in. For example, if you want to know exactly what kind of courses you'll be taking, then you can look up the graduation requirements and then search up the courses on the list. It's a bit of extra work, but it's much better than getting yourself into a program and then realizing that you have to take courses in your least favorite subject. Because if that doesn't go well, it can really damage your GPA, which will harm your chances if you want to pursue grad school or education after your undergrad. Um, so it's really important to know what you're getting yourself into. Number two, um, oh right. If you're the type of person who really likes to venture out into the city, don't go to a university located in a really remote area. I'm not saying there's anything bad with universities in the middle of nowhere, but I'm just saying, if it's going to be detrimental to your university, you know, mental health, then don't do it because you really need to make sure that you're in the best condition that you can be. Um, and number three, sometimes it can be really stressful to have to decide what you wanna do when you're not even 20 yet. You know, it feels like you have to make all the right choices, right? And it can be difficult. Um, my advice for you is to pursue what you what you want to do, not what you think is the best, because chances are you're going to do something related to your program for the rest of your life, right? So don't do this to yourself. <laughs> do something that you have passion for. Okay. Um, so what was it like to go into a CS program with not a lot of experience beforehand? Well... If I had to sum it up in one word, it would be nerve wracking. Um, the mentality of knowing that your foundation isn't as solid as the person sitting next to you in your lectures can both be a source of motivation to work harder and it can also be a source of stress. While it did encourage me to work harder, at times I wasn't as confident in myself. Like I'd think, oh, I did this a certain way, but maybe there's a better way or there has to be a better way to do it. Um, and that's kind of detrimental to your, to your personal growth, right? Because you always feel like you're not doing the best thing or maybe, you know, you can just be better, right? Um, it did get a lot better though when I did land my first co-op job early on in the recruiting season back in first year. It, it made me think that, okay, well, even if I have absolutely no prior experience, like no projects, I don't know how to, you know, do anything other than what I learned in school, there are still opportunities. So honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. It does depend on your aptitude, but if you have a passion for it and if you do have, you know, the work ethic to work hard and to bring yourself up to the level that you want to be at, then it's fine. That's great to hear. I'm happy that you uh, got a hold of everything. Um, so before we end, is there anything else you would like to add, like interesting facts or things you didn't know about school? Um, 
Oh yeah, one thing to say to all all you kids who want to pursue post secondary.、Um, for those of you who have the option and the ability to live in dorms, and like you're you're not sure about it, like you think living at home is going to be better, or you know you don't really think dorm life is that great, you should go live in dorms because it's a really great way to meet friends, like lifelong friends, and a dorm community tends to be really tight knit. So it's a really great opportunity, and it's definitely worthwhile. So you should do it if you can. That's cool. So thank you for coming out and taking the time to do this interview.、Um, all your tips have been really cool and really helpful. And yeah, if you wanna, have, if you have any questions, leave a comment or reach out to the cast、um, Instagram handle. And thank you for watching. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.